this is how I play the game! I got some stuff to say, folks. I got a few things to get off my chest. I have to. I have to because you know I'm an honest guy and it's been bothering me. It's been bugging me. And I'm really tired of basically uh, people being just so gullible. Okay, I really am. I'm done with it. I'm so tired of it. Um... Right now, I've been playing Shadow of War. I've been enjoying the game a lot. It's been eight hours of gameplay, and out of it, I'd say probably six hours were pretty solid, good experiences. Well, maybe two hours were a little bit grindy, okay? Um, <clears throat> I can tell you, from the eight hours of gameplay, the story is good. The gameplay is a lot more fast-paced and streamlined than the original game. You feel more super-powered than you did. In that original Shadow of Mordor game, it was a slow build where you had to sneak around and basically do a lot of grinding-style combat in order to get enough abilities to become powerful. In this game, from the get-go, you are powerful, okay? So it's a different feeling of a game. Now, I don't know if they did that because some people complained that the original Shadow of Mordor had too slow of a beginning and it was too difficult. I have no idea. <clears throat> I think it's kind of funny because this game does have, still has the stealth, right? The stealth element. However, you don't really need it in a lot of cases because you're so overpowered. You could just sweep in and destroy the enemies with the combat and use abilities you can get pretty easy or pretty early on in the game, excuse me. Now, that being said, folks, all that being said, um, I'm enjoying the game. Eight hours of gameplay, it's good. People come into the streams, they're saying they're enjoying it, yet stream attendance apparently has been dwindling massively. Y YouTube, I don't know, I haven't even checked the videos on YouTube, but you have to assume it's probably the same thing, right? That people probably aren't watching the play through that much on YouTube, and all I'm hearing about this fucking game is that loot boxes have ruined it, the end of the game is a, a horrible grind, and the loot boxes ruin the game, and you have to buy the loot boxes to beat the game. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, folks. I, I really don't even want to hear it ever again, and here's why. If you're fucking a, a, such a sheep that you're not actually following people who are playing the game, but instead you're just following these stupid drama videos on YouTube and these dumb fuck YouTubers who have to hype up drama in order to get views and basically slander games in order to get fucking views because they're in such dire straits with their ad revenue plummeting and everything, which is obviously what this whole fucking stupid controversy is about, <clears throat> you need to wake up. You need to wake up, and you need to fucking smarten up, all right? I'm well aware that there have been YouTubers who have been ranting, raving, and doing nothing but talking about microtransactions and loot boxes for the past week. Do you really think they would do that unless it benefited them? Honestly? Because I've played eight hours of Shadow of War, and I haven't had to open a single loot box, and the game is good. Alright? But from what, what reviewers are saying, you don't need to, to open loot boxes or anything at all, okay? Basically, everything's fine with that. And it's not until the fourth and final act, which is optional, is not required, because the game technically ends after the third act. But if you want to see the super secret ending, it's basically a, a true ending cutscene, okay? Think Batman Arkham uh, Knight, okay? Where you can actually technically beat the game, but then if you want to see the true ending of the game, you have to grind endlessly to do all the Riddler uh, trophies and shit like that. <clears throat> now, a lot of people didn't like that, but, you know, they didn't sell bat boxes. If WB Games sold bat boxes, and if you bought the bat boxes, and it allowed you to just pass those riddles and get to the ending of the game, maybe people would have been up in arms. Okay, I can understand that. But at the same time, it's a single-player game. If you're playing, alright, if you're playing, a game that's single player and you want to see the super secret ending not even the canon ending but you want to see the super secret ending cutscene and you don't want to go through the grinding that the game was designed to require you to do to see that ending and you want to pay for a shortcut to do it i don't see the problem with that you know if you pay to skip uh, what you would consider to be boring grinding time consuming gameplay to see an ending then so be it what's the problem with that there's going to be people who want to do that okay <laughs> Now, some people would say, oh, it's a dishonest practice, it lines the pockets of EA and the game developers or whatever. Yeah, it does. But the bottom line is, you know, it's in the hands of the consumer to decide whether or not they feel that seeing a super secret ending without grinding 
is worth spending extra money for. That's in the hands of the consumer, right? The game, Shadow of War, does not require you to spend more money to see the end of the game. It just presents the option, all right? So if you really want to complain about something... Complain about human nature. Complain about humans who have all this disposable income, and instead of putting it towards something productive or important, they put it towards something stupid and they take shortcuts, okay? That's the real problem here. Because <clears throat> the bottom line is if human nature was disciplined and if humans had some kind of self-fucking control, right, you wouldn't have microtransactions at all because no one would spend money on them. They'd say, I already bought this game. Why am I going to spend more money on this game? And you never see anyone put additional money into it, right? It's the consumer's fault that they come in and they dump all this fucking money into these kind of games. So, here's the thing. Here's why I'm upset. I'm playing the game. I'm enjoying it. I'm showcasing the game on streams, on YouTube. I'm showing that in the first eight hours of the game, it's been a pretty great game. And there hasn't been one reason to open a loot box, okay? From what I'm to understand, the game has four acts. Like I said, the first three acts of the story, the fourth act is basically an endless grind where you're trying to unlock this secret ending. Um, I'm now in act two. So you gotta figure, if there's three acts, maybe another eight hours, so the game's gonna be, what, 16 hours long? Okay. And... I'm enjoying the hell out of it. But yet, everyone I see on the internet is slandering this game. Shadow of War sucks. You need loot boxes to beat it. It's a piece of shit. Don't play it. What? Just look. Look at... Do this. Do this. I swear, you'll get a laugh out of this, okay? Go look at user reviews for the game versus critic reviews for the game. Critics are saying, wow, this game's pretty solid. It's an improvement over Shadow of Mordor. Yes, it's a lot like the first game, but that's a good thing because the first game was good. 8 out of 10 right? That's kind of like the general consensus of what professional reviewers are doing. Then look at the user reviews. 1 out of 10, loot boxes required. 2 out of 10, loot boxes. Loot boxes, loot boxes, loot boxes. Alright? People are fucking sheep. Give them their money. Give their money. They pick these people on YouTube to be their fucking figureheads, their idols, their gurus. They're people who will speak out against great injustices in the world of gaming. And instead of doing any actual kind of intelligent thought or research for themselves, they just believe what these people say as the God's honest truth. Even when there's evidence to the contrary, there's playthroughs of this game, including mine, showing the game doesn't fucking need loot boxes to be good. But people are fucking stupid. Good job. Thanks for the money. You're stupid. Okay. I don't even know what else to say. Like, it's so frustrating to me. That in the modern era, we're also caught up in hype and or drama and all this shit. Destiny 2 will sell a ridiculous amount of copies despite being a repetitive copy of the first game with nothing original. Yet Shadow of War, which actually is a great game, won't sell at all because everyone's talking about loot boxes in a negative, dramatic way to get views on YouTube. Unfucking believable <clears throat> Seriously, I'm so frustrated at this. I've been waiting for Shadow of War all year. It's one of the games I was hyped for. I'm playing it now and I like it. But all I hear people, oh, I'm not going to watch this. This is a game that needs loot boxes to fucking, you know, to beat it. And it's wrong. You're, you're actually stupid and wrong if you're saying that. Because you believed the bullshit from a bunch of YouTubers who are just looking to make a buck. You fell for it. You got, got the wool pulled over your eyes and because you did no research on your, for yourself, no independent thought, you just believed what they said. And now you're missing out on a game that at least the first eight hours has been a great game. This is so ridiculous. So now, Fo Fweeks in the stream chat just said, there's not really anything wrong with people not wanting to support a gross business model. That's what that's fine. I agree with you. If you don't want to support the loot box system of Shadow of War, then don't support it. Don't buy the loot boxes. That doesn't mean boycott the game and then publicly fucking slander it and make it so that anyone who's playing it and enjoying it now has a bad time because everyone's telling them the game fucking sucks because it has loot boxes in it. That's the difference here. If people could just be mature and be intelligent about these kind of issues... That would be one thing, right? If you could say, okay, we understand the loot box system exists in the game. Don't spend money on it. Instead, just play the game for what it is and enjoy it. That would be the mature thing to do. Instead, people have to completely blow it out of proportion and say, overall, the game is terrible because you can't beat it without spending extra money on loot boxes. Which is false. It's a lie. It's a blatant fucking lie about the game. Because YouTubers wanted to make money. So they hyped it up like that. They made overdramatic videos about it. They still sit on Twitter for fucking three days straight whining about it to try to make it so that it would be all the people talk about this fucking week. And I've had enough of it. You know? Seriously. I'm not a whiny baby. I like this game. I like this game. And I'm, I'm actually pissed. I'm legitimately pissed that I'm enjoying a game that's good 
and no one is agreeing with me or people won't give the game a chance, right? Because of this negative shit stirred up by a bunch of fucking whiny little greedy YouTubers. That pisses me off. It sucks, because here I am, I've been waiting the entire year for the hardcore gaming season. Here's one of the first major AAA releases of the hardcore gaming season. Oh, this game's terrible because of loot boxes, so everyone skip it. No one watch it. What the fuck? This is ridiculous. Why can't we all just be mature adults and not have overdramatic reactions and not be fucking little whiny babies about everything? I have no fucking self-control. I'm a mature adult. I'll tell you why, because people look up to their role models. And when you have YouTube role models who are whiny fucking babies, who all they do is stir up drama for their own attention, then obviously you're going to act like that too. And that's pathetic. That means you need a better role model, folks. You know? And I'm certainly not saying it's me, because I certainly have done some pretty bad things over the years um, that are pretty embarrassing. I'm not stupid, obviously, in that regard. I'm not saying that I should be your role model either, but people need to grow up. Stop being such reactionary, dramatic ninnies, and instead, you know, actually enjoy a, a game for what it is. There's literal empirical evidence in front of your face that the game does not require loot boxes to be fun, yet people are blatantly ignoring the evidence in order to make this negative so no one will play the game, so they can feel like they're a part of this mob mentality against the game. <sighs> anyway, I had to get that off my chest because I'm pissed because here I am playing the game enjoying it, and, you know, launch night there were a bunch of people on stream, and then yesterday I played the game all day and it was dwindling, dwindling, dwindling. And you ask people, why aren't you watching? Oh, because this game needs loot boxes. Not, oh, because this game's boring. Or, oh, this game's no good, because if you actually watch, the plot's been good. The plot's actually been an interesting plot. There's been a variety of gameplay. I'm fighting these cool bosses. Now I'm starting to recruit these high-level orcs. Things are getting interesting. Yet, people don't want to hear it. All they want to hear is, this game sucks. Pretty ridiculous. I'm not a whiny baby. Yeah, so here you go. DSP fan dude just said, Phil's gonna hate it when everyone shits on Assassin's Creed Origins. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm playing Assassin's Creed Origins, and I like the game, and it's a good game, and everyone's saying the game sucks just because it's a fad to say Assassin's Creed sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. You're right. I will be. Because I'm tired of it. I really am. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of everyone being an overdramatic drama queen immature idiot on the internet. And it's sad because it's getting worse. Every day it's getting worse and worse. That people don't want to fucking think for themselves and be, be intelligent. Instead they just want to be sheep and ride the wave of, of drama. And I've had enough. I've been waiting all year for the hardcore gaming season. It finally comes. I'm playing a good game. And now no one will fucking watch it because they all want to believe the stupid drama. Because they're idiots. They're mind-numbing, mouth-drooling idiots. No independent thought. Must believe what YouTuber tells me. Unfucking real I just don't get it. Now, here's the thing. You have the right to formulate an opinion about the game if you actually don't like it. Oh, I think Shadow of War is a boring grind. Fine. You just made an intelligent opinion. And therefore, your opinion is valid and should be respected. That's not what people are saying, though. <laughs> That's not what's been going on here. Daniel's Wii is saying he's going to make some fan art for Evil Within 2. That would be appreciated. Um, I actually have one piece of fan art so far. Fan art's been very scarce lately. I don't know why, but people have just basically not been making any fan art for playthroughs. Um, it used to be a really cool thing where people got excited for these new game releases and would make a ton of pieces of fan art for the pre-streams. And for whatever reason, it's all dried up. Maybe it's because I stopped mentioning it. But yeah, you can make me fan art, folks, and you can either email it to darksidephil at hotmail.com, or you could post it up on the forums. El Dead Mariachi says, do I accept nude monochrome art? Well, I do, but I'm not going to use that on the stream. <laughs> I'll accept nudes, but that's for my own personal purposes, okay? Oh! <clears throat> Excuse me, I frog my throat yet again. Devour. Devour. Sound good? <clears throat> Devour, devour. The frog in my throat did a 10 bit cheer. It says, it's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? Well, it's very simple. Two, there's two reasons why I have to be mad. Number one, because I am pissed off that in general, I am a gamer and I'm part of, you know, the gaming community. And I see the people around me becoming sheep and becoming mindless drones who don't fucking think for themselves. All at the benefit of a few YouTubers. And that's what really pisses me off is that people can't see through the smoke screen that the real reason that drama was stirred up about the loot boxes in this game was to make people money. It had nothing to do with the fact that the loot boxes are a bad practice, which they are, but they could easily just avoid it by not spending money on it. Instead, we had to draw up so much fucking drama to make a few YouTubers richer, to line their pockets with more money, because people are fucking stupid, and they can't fucking tell the difference. That's what's sad about the situation. Okay? That's what pisses me off. Because if anyone thought for themselves and actually watched a playthrough of the game, you'd be like, wait a minute, 
Look at all this content in the game and not a dollar dropped on a loot box. I don't understand the controversy behind it. Um, also, the other reason that I get upset about this, even though it's just a game, is because it's my livelihood, dude. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money. Every day I live stream. Every day I put videos on YouTube. This is how I make my living. And when people are going to boycott a game that I'm enjoying and playing just because of drama, to, because YouTubers wanted to get rich and make a quick controversial situation out of something and blow it out of proportion so they could get rich, that then it fucks me over. Because I'm the one who's legitimately covering the game and people won't watch my playthrough because they're told the game sucks. That's ridiculous. So not only is the entire gaming community becoming stupid, but... Also, it's hurting me, and that's not right. So because these YouTubers wanted to get rich and make a buck and hype up this fucking overdramatic situation for their own personal benefit, now I don't get anyone watching my playthrough. Gee, thanks a lot, you pieces of shit. No, really, thanks a lot. I really appreciate that. Idiots. Stream in the stream chat says kids don't have self-control, though. I have no fucking self-control. True, but kids also don't have credit cards. That's my point. Kids don't have tons of money and credit cards to spend on shit like this. By the way, Shadow of War is a mature rated game. Kids shouldn't be playing it. So do you see my point? Do you see my point here? If people actually adhered to the, the things that are already set in place, the game rating system, right? Not putting money in the hands of small children, then maybe this wouldn't be a problem. So it's people actually doing things wrong already that make this system a problem, not the system itself. I said to grab him and I did, it didn't work. Now he's enraged by mortal wounds. Oh my god, he adapted, I can't freeze him anymore. He won't die. Well, I just tried to grab him. It didn't work. I didn't want to grab him. I didn't want to throw him either. Alright. Dominate. Oh my god! Another asshole hit me. I didn't try to attack him. I'm trying to attack the little guys. And instead, it's attacking the wrong ones. There, now I can get this guy. What the fuck? Complete bullshit. Now I'm dead. What? I got hit again by this little idiot. Dude, this sucks. This fucking seriously sucks. Now I killed him, which I didn't want to do. Fucking stupid. It wouldn't let me fucking dominate him. That was incredibly stupid. Come on. I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.